Trump floats pay bonus for teachers who carry guns in class. Washington, President Donald Trump on Thursday expanded on his idea to train and arm some teachers with guns, suggesting that firearm adept school staff be given a little bit of a bonus for carrying weapons, and promising federal funds to train them. At a White House discussion on school safety solutions with state and local officials, Trump said highly adept people who understand weaponry could carry guns in schools, estimating that 10 to 40 percent of teachers could be qualified for such a task. Those who are would undergo rigorous training, he said, later adding that he'd consider offering federal money for that effort. Officials can't just give a teacher a gun. He said, asked if he had concerns about teachers with guns making quick judgments in the chaos of a school shooting. The president said he did not, because they would be experts. Earlier Thursday, Trump lashed out on Twitter at news organizations, including NBC, for saying he wanted to give teachers guns, an idea he supported during a meeting at the White House on Wednesday with parents and students who had lost loved ones to gun violence. I want my schools protected just like I want my banks protected, Trump said as Thursday's White House event, where he was joined by a mostly Republican group of state and local officials, with Mayor Christine Hunskovsky of Parkland, Florida, the lone identified Democrat. The president also proposed regulating the content children consume in video games, movies and online because, he said, the level of violence on video games is really shaping young people's thoughts and bad things are happening to their minds. We have to do something about maybe what they're seeing and how they're seeing it, Trump said, adding that some movies are so violent but don't feature sex so they're often available for children to see and he wondered if some type of rating system might be necessary to address the issue. It was unclear if the president was referring to potential changes to the current rating systems for video games and movies, which already flag and often age-restrict such content, or was proposing a new system. Source and News